haven't really been fiscally responsible in this past session that show otherwise. We've got $300 billion in debt when we stack our small, our, our community, our local community, our school district, our county, and our state debt more per capita than any other state in the union. Now, $22 billion in new spending, this is a 25% increase in our, in our budget over the prior spending cycle. You know, this is not a record of fiscal conservatism. Now, we did have, against the speaker's uh, machinations behind the scenes, some incredibly impressive uh, pro-life bills that came out this past session. But we can't sit here and give Joe any credit for that. He's been anything but consistent on the life issue. Somebody that early in his career before he became speaker was rated by NARAL 100%, took money from Planned Parenthood Action Committee. That's not somebody that's consistently been pro-life. In fact, he's not even been willing to stand up and say he's pro-life. That is not a leader. And I want to go up to Austin to represent the voters of District 121 to be an authentic conservative, somebody who's willing to stand up for his values and the shared values of the community he represents. I'm a small business owner, Air Force veteran, and I believe our government needs to protect and defend our liberties, but it needs to live within its means. On a school issue, they've hidden behind the courts on this. We've had many opportunities for leadership on the school funding issue, which is universally understood to be inequitable in how we fund it. There are not a common um, set of uh, solutions as to how we move forward in that, but I look forward to rolling up my sleeves and getting serious about that. Now, they like to argue the fiscal issue. They like to say that we kept within inflation and population growth, but I know Representative Larson has endorsed Harvey Hildebrand for Comptroller. This is a gentleman who recently sent me a mailer, and you probably all got it as well, where he talked about how he voted against the budget because there was a 26% increase in state spending. So this is a guy who, you know, the, my, my opponent's representative thinks should be responsible for more money counting, and he's, he, he is out there saying it's not something that's been fiscally responsible. And my opponent actually appointed him as Ways and Means Committee Chair. So I think we need to be serious about having an honest dialogue about this overspending in Austin. We are becoming more like the federal government in the way in which we refuse to have an honest dialogue. My opponent also on illegal immigration says there are no practical solutions to illegal immigration at the state level. He told that to the Express News several weeks ago. I want to get serious about ending in-state tuition subsidies for illegal immigrants ending sanctuary cities, and being serious about honoring the public commitment that we have in the public trust by having an honest dialogue on that. Thank you.